What is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade, basketball analysis, coming to y'all with a quick video. We're going to talk about LeBron James getting his extension with the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers reached new deal. LeBron will agree to a two-year, $85 million extension with the Los Angeles Lakers. For those who forget, LeBron did sign a four-year deal, which was tough to give him the five years because he never played with the Lakers because he was coming from Cleveland. So they couldn't offer him five. They only can offer him four, which was the max years they could offer him. Now they have him locked up for an extra two more years when he still has two years, I believe, left on his contract, which is pretty good because we just seen LeBron James last month um, become the finals MVP, become second in MVP voting in the entire NBA to Giannis, which means – LeBron is still one of the best players in the world, and it does seem like he can be a superstar for more years. And even though he might not, we don't know where he'll be, you know, two years from now, we can safely bet that he will still be an all-star caliber player, even as he ages and gets older. His game has diminished. He, he's taking more mid-range jumper. He's taking more threes. He's not getting to the basket as much as he used to, but he's still is one of the best um, decision makers in the league and his IQ and his recommitment to defense with the system that um, Frank Vogel implemented and having Anthony Davis, a guy that protects the paint well, can switch and guard different positions, you know, makes it a lot easier for LeBron. And that's what you need. You need another guy that can help you out. You need that other, you know, couple players around you to balance out the offense and balance out the defense. And I think the way Rob Palenka been going, you know, trying to improve the roster, trying to add more scoring, more spacing, that only, you know, allows LeBron to age gracefully because he doesn't have to do as much. You know, and now he has the talent to where he can do less and still be productive and, you know, be, you know, his best form of himself when the playoffs come because he doesn't have to, you know, be a, you know, Cleveland when he was there the first time and do everything because he has AD and, and great players around him. So I like this for the Lakers and I like this for LeBron. You know, LeBron wanted to be in L.A. He already won a title in L.A. It only took him two seasons to do it. Um, in my personal opinion, they have the best roster in the NBA, and I will pick them probably to repeat if they can stay healthy um, at the end of the day. So, you know, why wouldn't you want to stay when you see the roster continually getting better and you see the fact that you can lock up AD long term or, you know, get him, you know, back and you basically still will have the best duo um, in the NBA. So, with that being said, why would not want to stay there? Why would not want to continue to play there? Because this probably is the best place that he can win titles. And he done did it already. So if you're about championships and you want to extend your legacy, if you want to surpass Michael Jordan, you have to be dominant, which he has been his whole entire career, basically. And you have to be, you know, competing for ships, which the Lakers are giving him that opportunity. And going into this season, he has a huge chance of repeating. LeBron did repeat with the Heat, with Dwayne Wade. Um, he wasn't able to do it in Cleveland, but he was able to win the ship there. But now it's about, you know, legacy. His career is getting closer and closer to ending. And now he, he still has a lot left in the tank, and, and he wants to win more. And I feel like the Lakers are the best opportunity for him to do that, even in the future. And as long as they can keep AD, um, he's going to have a chance to win a title each and every year just because he's so young and he's been improving and he's been growing and he's been so dominant for the last couple of years. And he got AD at the right time because AD was at his offensive peak the last two years of his career in New Orleans. And now he gets that AD and they win the ship the first season that they're together. So, you know, LeBron, it ain't that bad being LeBron James. This is a good time to be LeBron. And this is a good time to be a fan of LeBron because, you know, he is going to conquer the league for a couple more years. And a lot of teams going to have to come at his head. If you want that title, you got to go through LeBron right now. You really do. And it's because the Lakers are putting the requisite talents around him to get, you know, ships in his hands. So we'll see what happens. We still I always say we still got to see how things play out because teams make trades, teams get injured, players get injured. 
and you know you might have the best roster and we've seen it with golden state losing clay losing kevin durant in the same nba finals that it happens it's part of the game so we'll see what happens with that but other than that i'm loving the fact that you know lebron i wouldn't even think he would even consider doing an extension considering that he can you know pretty much get a max deal from anybody and he he's gonna have competition to get it then you know to sign two year 85 million already was kind of a shock to me you know not not just because of you know it's the lakers but because he could have probably even made even more money even though he is gonna have to take a little less because he's gonna have to have some teammates on his team be able to play because you know they already capped out and, and they ain't gonna really be able to do much signing once they land ad to his extension um but other than that you know lebron signed it pretty early showing that this is where he wants to be he feel like the organization is behind him they can put the, the right amount of talent around him for him to compete for title for multiple years and then it just becomes a no-brainer that i need to sign this dotted line and stay here a little bit longer and we all know how beautiful L.A. is to a lot of people. A lot of people look at L.A. as paradise. And LeBron gets to stay there for another four years, possibly, if he doesn't demand a trade or things don't, you know, go sour in the future. So we don't know what's really going to happen two years from now. We don't really know how good LeBron is going to be two years from now. But when you get a player that is committed to his body, committed to the game, and will do anything to play at an elite level, which we haven't really seen too many athletes play at the level that LeBron has done at his age and his birthday is coming up. Um, you can't really bet against the man right now. He, he's getting everything done. He has everything figured out. Now it's just about, you know, seeing what goes on on the court. And Frank Vogel is a good coach for him. You know, Frank, Frank Vogel brought out some things I haven't seen from LeBron in a while. And I'm not giving him full credit, but he put the Lakers and LeBron in a great situation offensively and defensively. And that's something that LeBron hasn't really conquered for an entire season in a while. And putting them at point guard, letting LeBron be the offense, letting LeBron make the primary decisions almost each time up the court was genius. People felt like LeBron was already a point guard, but making him really a point guard offensively really allowed his teammates to get easy opportunities and it really helped him and ad mesh well because we know how unselfish lebron is as a passer and as a playmaker but with the spacing that they had even with putting ad at the five it allowed lebron to open up and have those angles to kick out but not only that having those angles to score in variety of ways and lebron has aged to the point where he knew he had to add and do other things if he wanted to stay effective, and he was able to do that. And now he's just pulling up on people. His three-point percentage isn't the greatest, but he's also showing that he's willing to take it and he's confident in it. And we haven't really seen that from LeBron and, and, and probably forever. He will take him every couple of times during games or throughout the season, but now he's showing you that he, he feels like he can make them. And, you know, he took probably what we done seen the most in his career last year. And we've seen him take a lot more fadeaways and a lot more mid-range jumpers, which shows you that he has confidence in his stroke and in his touch when it comes to shooting a basketball. And that's something that we usually don't see from LeBron either, but he was still effective and it still did work. So LeBron James is showing his maturity. He's showing his love for the game. He's showing his involvement of his game, and he's still showing you that he is one of the more dominant players still in this league, even though he's been in the league for so long. Um, he still was able to finish on top with the championship and the finals MVP at this advanced age. So, you know, at the end of the day, we'll see what happens with him. We'll see what happens with the Lakers the next couple of years, and we'll see, you know, this is a steal. Two-year 85 million is nothing for LeBron and the way he's been playing. And they betting on themselves that, you know, giving him this contract early will pay off for them. Um, and they get a commitment for him long term already with this extension. So now it's just about, you know, staying healthy and continuing to tinker with this roster each and every year to give themselves the best chance to win multiple titles um, in the future. So check out my website. 
And I also play around dot com. Link will be in the description, comment section below. Check out my Facebook page and I also play around dot com. Link will be in the description, comment section below. Like on Facebook to show support. Thanks for everybody that likes on Facebook. Thanks for everybody that continues to check it out. You can also buy exclusive merchandise just like this and shirts on my Facebook page. You can change the color of the hat, change the color of the shirt, change the color of the logo, pick the logo you want, customize it the way you want message me and get it and i can get it shipped out to you you can also buy exclusive merchandise that's only on my spread shirt that will also be in the description and comment section below you can also support the channel without buying merchandise by liking and sharing liking and sharing allows my channel to reach more people the more people are reached the better it is for growth and i appreciate the people that does that every video not only that I make videos each and every day, whether it's breakdowns of players, legends, rookies, and summer league breakdowns and summer league coverage, draft coverage, free agency, trade deadline, season previews, top 10 lists and discussions. Just like this, I offer all that on my channel. I upload every day, seven days a week, every year. So if you love basketball, you can't get enough of it. This is the channel for you. But not only that, feel free to comment. Let me know if it's a good deal, bad deal. I read every single comment, so don't be afraid to do that. Even though it don't look like I respond, I do see what you guys are saying. And let me know, is this a good deal for LeBron? Will he be good four years from now? Will he be good three years from now? Will he even be worth the $85 million? Um, We don't know, but let me know what you guys think about it. Other than that, Quinn Wade, basketball analysis, I'm gone. And now we're just waiting, if you're a Lakers fan, for Anthony Davis to sign his extension so y'all can possibly win another title with one of the best duos and probably could be one of the best duos in NBA history. But one thing we do know, they're a championship duo already, and now they're trying to build upon that. And we'll see if they can win multiple um, in L.A. You know, I'm a Celtics fan. I'm not in a rush to see it. I don't want to see it, but you still got to give them credit when it's due. And this is a dangerous team. And to me, they got even more dangerous this offseason. Now we see, can see, now we have to see if they can put it all together and win another title. So we'll see what happens. Quinn Wade, basketball analysis, I'm done.